Okay, so talking about manipulations, we have to understand how many different uh, manipulation types we have to uh, control during the study. So first of all, we're going to insert the probe or take it back. So this is the depth. And you can control it by looking at uh, those numbers on the shaft, 20, 30 centimeters. So usually heart starts about 25 centimeters from the teeth. Then if you go to 35, 40, it's in the mid esophagus. If you go to 40, 45, it's usually you are in the stomach. So this is very helpful as well. Then second motion that you have to control is the rotation. So you look, look at the, the probe here. If I turn this manipulator here, you see the probe is also turning. So this is very rigid shaft. It will not let you uh, rotate the probe uh, itself if you keep it. So it's really very rigid. Every motion of this, uh, this device is transmitted to the tip of the probe. That's very important as well. Then another um, manipulation is antiflex, as we said before, and retroflex. And then another one is right and le left flex. But most importantly, uh, we have another one, which uh, can you keep it with your right, right hand maybe? And uh, here I just prepared this little sector which resembles the echo sector. We have to rotate it towards the camera here. And uh, this is the uh, representation of the, of the uh, plane, yeah. plane that you are uh, going to use during the examination. And then, so this is the, we call it zero degree view, where the plane is perpendicular to the long axis of the esophagus. And then you can rotate it by different angles from zero to 90 and then 130, 150, and finally 180 degrees and, and back. And this is very important because it will change a lot um, the view that you are going to, to see. The easiest to understand is the transverse view because then you have really easy control where you are because you just insert deeper or shallower and rotate right or left. And uh, this, is, this you can control very easily. The other things, Come a, a little bit more complicated, but uh, you will learn it uh, very easily. So if you make the retroflex and antiflex, the plane also changes. Yes. yes. So if I if I do the antiflex here, can you show what happens? Yes. And if you, if I do retroflex, it goes down like that. If I uh, do the right flex, you see that we we get a little angle, but also the position. If you can rotate like this. The position of the probe is also changing a little bit, but you, of course we are moving the esophagus in the chest, which is not, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, which is also important to know that you are really flexing very fragile, um, uh, fragile structure in the mediastinum, which is esophagus. So you have to be very careful with those flexes.